Welcome in to KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Come to you live from Grantsville High School as the Grantsville Cowboys prepare to take on the Ridgeline Riverhawks. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Pleased to bring you our uh, Game of the Week. As our apologies, working through a couple technical issues here at the start. As we talk about a couple teams coming in with just a pair of losses. Ridgeline 8 and 2 to start the year. And Grantsville 11 or 10 and 2 to start the year. A couple teams that have been competitive near the top of their respective classifications. Trying to stay on the winning side of things as Grantsville. What a year for Coach Austin and company. He's got a couple of very talented scorers. When you look at Brigham Mulford, the 5'8 senior, averaging 15 points per game, as well as uh, the returner, 6'1 guard, Gabe Moritzen, averaging 15 a game. Gabe, also a football star for the Cowboys this season. Meanwhile, for Coach Day and the River Hawks, graduated so much talent. Last year, returning Carson Cox, a 6'4 junior, averaging 14 and 6. And a couple new, well, I don't want to say new faces, but new contributors in the 6'6 se senior, Luke Sorensen, averaging 17 and 7. And the 6'9 junior, Jagger Frankham. He'll be an eye to, or a young man to keep an eye on in the coming years as Grantsville here, offensive board, couldn't get it to go. And Ridgeline coming up the floor. Ridgeline in the road, blue and green. As this is Grady Workman, skips over with Blotter. Cam trying to drive, looking inside. There is Sorensen. And the first points of the contest going to the visitors from Cache Valley, 2 nothing. thanks to Luke. Grantsville offensively, it's been a team that has had to, uh, I don't want to say find new scores, but have needed young men to step up and. This is Mulford. We talked about him in the open. Sent out with Brigham. And how about Mulford hitting the three? It was one of the things I talked with Coach Austin about before the game was, how has it been new guys stepping up? He said, look, we've had to kind of rein guys in with some of the former talent we've had. And so this has allowed them to kind of play back to roles that they've been familiar with and are capable of. High expectations for this Grantsville offense. As here's Workman, Grady. Looking to drive here, got his man in the air, and that'll count, and one for Grady Workman. Boy, what a job there by the senior. As that bucket will count, the foul called here on Bryson Roberts. That'll be the first on the sophomore. And a chance for the three-point play here for Ridgeline. Want to let you know the clock you see on your screen, unofficial. We do our best to keep that synchronized with the game clock here in the building. At times we'll start early, start late, that sort of a thing. As we, uh, again, try to keep that tied with the official clock here in the gym. Here is Morrison. Play that over with Powell. And now Mulford. High post here, Powell from the junction gives it back. Off the window. And we're tied up at five as Mulford with all five points here for Grantsville. Blotter, little step back there, able to find Sorensen. Luke taking the three and the big man drilling it. Well, that's a confident shot for the 6 6 forward. Five now for Luke. Stolen away. Here comes Blotter. Yes. Cam Blotter, defense to offense. It was one of the items Coach Day talked about. The defense that he has seen from this group has been great. He highlighted Workman and the defensive prowess of Grady. Grady here going to be called for the foul. Boy, that was one where Grady was uh, tuned in to that screen and ran right through it. I thought a good call there by the official. Second team foul on Ridgeline. As Grantsville to inbound. That worked out. Here's Morrison just off the front of the rim, batted around. Cox coming away with it. 
Carson finds Workman. Grady here on the drive. A little fade away there, rattled out, and the board collected by Gay Moritzson. Into the corner. Pull up Mulford. That might have been deflected. Is the length of Ridgeline there able to help affect the shot? Here's Jagger Frankham. That three was just short. Sorensen tapping it to himself, but too strong. Backside, Cox has it. Outlets it, blotter a little pump fake. Cam on the drive, to the rim. Wouldn't go, and the rebound gathered there by Powell, and a timeout here gonna be taken by Grantsville. Timeout, Nate Austin. 10 to five, the advantage here for Ridgeline. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week, presented by Heidemann and Associates. Welcome back. Past the midway point here of our first quarter. 10-5, the advantage for Ridgeline. It was one of the items talking with Coach Austin before the game. He said, look, I want to see our hustle. I don't want to see us give up a bunch of rebounds. They've done a pretty good job here on the glass offensively and defensively early on in this game. We'll see if they can continue that. And we've got a foul here away from the basketball. This is going to go on Ridgeline. That'll be the third team foul. And it will be called here on Blotter. And that'll be the first on Cam. Inbounded to Mortson. Gay baseline works it back. Open three. Big three there, I think by Cooper, his first of the game. Draws it back to within one possession. Here's Blotter, far side. Moves over with Skinner. Zach to the corner, Carson, corner three, off the front of the rim. Good box out there by Cash Cooper. Allows Grantsville to collect that board. Oh, late on the close, skip to the corner, game for three. And the lead for Grantsville. Nate Austin with a big smile on his face, and boy, he had a big swing. He was super excited about the open three that Mortson just made the lead here to the home side. Blotter working up top. Back to Cam. He's trying for an answer. Was online but long. Tapped up, gathered there by Mortson. Here's Mulford. It's two and a half to go here in our first quarter. Bunderson coming near side with Cooper. Cash defended by Skinner. Able to get it over with Bunderson and now Mulford. Inside of 10 to go on the shot clock, down to five. Little jump stop denied by Cox. Carson wasn't going to fall for that. On the run, wouldn't go, and now we're going to get the offensive basket interference on Sorensen as that ball was deemed to be on the rim. And so it will go back to Grantsville. Sorensen coming off the floor. Blotter coming off the floor. Jagger Frankham back on. And Creighton Jenks coming in here for Ridgeline. Inside of two to go here in this first quarter. Defense Workman. And a dual possession here. The arrow will give it back to Ridgeline. There is that staunchy defense by Grady Workman paying dividends there for the Riverhawks here on the road. Cox. Dribble down into that double team baseline. Little spin move there by Workman. Handing back to Carson. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Plenty of time. Drive. Workman got in the air. Felt the contact. And Grady Workman here will head to the line as a second team foul on Grantsville. And this will be called on Powell. That'll be the first on Ethan. Workman to the line for a pair. Good start for Grady tonight. And substitutions. Bryson Roberts and Eli Mondragon coming on here for Grantsville. A 
One more here for Grady. Three for three from the line for Workman in this first. Also has a field goal, five points for the senior guard. Oh, a little backdoor pass. Mulford just kicked it out, three. That was off the window. Hey, it doesn't matter, it drops, the three is good. It's a Grantsville team that can shoot the three ball really well. Jagger, that turnaround won't go. Cox with the offensive board. Into the corner, Jenks looking for an answer. Won't go, Cox another offensive board as he went to the floor but keeps the possession. Workman, boy, I thought maybe he had an extra step there and now a loose ball foul is gonna give it back here to Grantsville as the students and fans here at Grantsville love it. The foul called here on Sorensen. Oh, excuse me, on Jagger, Frankham picking up his first. Fourth team foul here on Ridgeline. 4 made threes for Grantsville in this first half. They shoot it at 40% from long range. Reverse, oh, just wouldn't go on the look there for Mondragon. As a three-second differential shot clock to game clock. Here in this final period, or final seconds of the first period. Skinner works over with Workman. Grady here trying to drive again. Up top, Cox, 15 on the shot clock. Carson, little spin around there from 10. Won't go, balls up, batted around, and Grantsville has it. Mulford came away with it. Cox down to five. Grantsville trying to push it. Roberts. Lost his footing and the traveling violation with 1.2 to go. We'll give the ball back here to Ridgeline. Final second. Inbounded back to Cox. Whoa. Well, it'll be too late, and that'll do it. 14-12, Grantsville, the long range, helping them pace Ridgeline. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Welcome back here to Grantsville High School. 14-12, the Cowboys leading the Ridgeline Riverhawks. Four different scorers for the Cowboys. Five for Mulford, three apiece for Cooper, Roberts, and Moritzson. Meanwhile, for Ridgeline, they've got Workman and Sorensen at five apiece, two for Blotter. As the three balls been the differentiator in that first quarter as we start quarter number two. Grantsville up top here with Mondragon. Mortson had the drive, leaves for Bunderson. Found a little bit of space. Bunderson able to square up and hit it. First field goal for Blake. Here's Jagger, double team, able to find Blotter on the skip. That off the back of the rim. Offensive board here for Ridgeline. Stepping up, taking it straight away. Off the mark again. Jagger had to go through the fingertips, and it will head to the Cowboys as Grantsville hitting threes, Ridgeline missing threes. That being your differentiator here in the first nine minutes. Here's Cooper getting it back. Cash hit that three in the first. Peeling back, we'll look for Moritzson. Over with Roberts and tried to get that on the cut to Bunderson. It was defended well by Skinner. Shot clock inside of 10. Gabe has the defense stay right with him in amongst the trees and Ridgeline coming away with it. Good defense there, especially on the interior by the Riverhawks. Staying vertical, not picking up any cheapos as that miscommunicated. And Ridgeline turning it over. Mortson swinging around here. Bun Excuse me, that's, yeah, that was Roberts. 
Cooper back up. Bryson looking off the glass. That won't go. Coming off the front of the rim. Run out here for Sorensen. Luke coming up. Took the bump. Draws the contact. And Luke Sorensen here will head to the line. It's been actually very good from the line this year. The 6-6 forward. One of the better three free throw shooters on the team. 83% coming into the contest. And he'll have a chance here at two as Mortson picking up his first personal. And the third team foul on the Cowboys. First free throw for Sorensen. No, spun off. Substitutions on both sides. Workman and Cox both coming back on the floor here for Ridgeline. Meanwhile, Connor Sorensen and Brigham Mulford back on the floor here for the Cowboys. Mulford had the quick five to start. One of the top scorers, he and Mortson for the Cowboys as Sorensen splits the trip. One for two. Bunderson working away from that screen of Eli. Mulford giving back to Eli, setting the screen there. Two-man game, they'll pass out. Patience here from the Cowboys. Found its way to Cooper. Cash looking to attack. And that one coming off the front of the rim. Boy, a couple looks here for Grantsville in the second. But just haven't been able to get to drop like in the first. Here's Blotter. Sorensen trying to back down Connor Sorensen. And Luke, crafty move for the big man. He is up to eight points for Ridgeline. And you see him starting to take over this contest. And offensive foul here. The illegal screen being set by Connor Sorensen, his first personal. And the fourth team foul here on Grantsville. It's one of the tough things is the three ball was falling in that first quarter, and sometimes you live by the three, die by the three. It's one of the items Coach Austin talked about. Haven't looked to take a lot of threes here in the second. Boy, how about that ball movement? And the whole Ridgeline bench thought there was contact in the back there. No call, and Grantsville coming up the floor here quickly. But where do you go for offense when that three ball hasn't been there like it was in the first quarter? Coach Austin, his troop, trying to figure that out right now. Bunderson in the paint, looking for help, able to find Mulford. Brigham as the shot clock down to 15, and that deflected by Ridgeline. It'll stay here, and a substitution for Grantsville is Gabe Mortson coming on the floor here for the senior, Connor Sorensen. Grantsville will inbound. It'll be Brigham to throw in. Getting it back off the handoff. Oh, look at the speed, but that came off the front. Three buckets in the second, or three shots in the second quarter that have all been window, front of the rim, and off for Grantsville here in the home gym. Cox slipped. Blotter able to score, and a timeout now taken by Ridgeline as they have Retaking the lead here, 17-16, Riverhawks. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Other universities didn't fit into my life. They said I'd have to quit my job to go to school. They said it would take me four years to graduate. They said I have to take tests when they tell me to. They said my degree would cost a fortune. But I didn't have to listen to them because I have a university that listens to me. Tests on your time, courses on your time, graduate on your time. WGU, the University of You. Welcome back. 17-16. Nice start for Ridgeline here in this second quarter. And for Grantsville, offense running a little dry here. They've been able to get the ball inside, get some decent looks. As there, boy, good movement without the basketball by Moritzson. And that's a nice feed to get it to Gabe. Confident to go up and score it. Lead back here to the Cowboys. Midway point here of the second. Cox will try the three. 
That was strong, and Gabe Morton able to crash the boards and secure it. Mulford playing over with Gabe. The drive from Cooper. They find Morton. He's got a three lined up and good. Back-to-back -back buckets for Morton. Pushes the lead back to four here for Grantsville. Blotter. Playing off that Jagger screen will send out Workman. Penetrating here. And Grady Workman. Nice experienced move there. Recognition on the hard close, opening up the driving lane. Mulford squaring up and hitting despite the aggressive defensive closeout there. Not going to shy away. Brigham being aggressive. And now a foul here going to be called. This is, I think, maybe on the drive. Coach Austin saying it should be an offensive foul. And officials here still conversing. It looks like it's going to stay here, and the call will be on Grantsville. They call a block here on Cooper. So that'll be the first personal on cash. Fifth team foul on the Cowboys. Two and a half to go here in our first half. Inbounded to Cox in the air. Couldn't get it to go. Powell with the strong board. Mulford playing over with Moritzson. Mulford. Boy, look at the little man attacking, but that time through to the corner. And no one was there. Love the speediness and the decisiveness that we've seen from Brigham. I know he turns it over there, but you can see that quick first step he gets. And, man, that's a hard matchup for defense to try to close and take away. It's been a potent weapon for him as Cox coming off the screen inside. Easy bucket for Carson as Ridgeline crawling back to within one possession. First bucket for Carson Cox tonight and a foul here in the backcourt. Going to be called on Workman and Coach Austin indicating the full timeout. We'll take it with them. Timeout Grantsville. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind. Welcome back. 23-21 Grantsville. Cowboy basketball, been a great first half, back and forth. Grantsville, boy, they've been pretty deliberate. Well-executed offense, you see the skip pass over, sets up Cooper, the open look just off the mark, and the rebound by Blotter. That's one of the few open threes that Grantsville has missed tonight. A welcome sight for Ridgeline fans. As Workman trying to, or excuse me, that was Skinner trying to hand one off in the paint. This is Workman as he drives right to the rim and scores it again. Grady, boy, what a night. Nine points for him in the first half. That, of course, unofficial. But he has been really strong for Coach Kyle Day. Tied up. Mulford coming over, collects, works to the corner. Bunderson giving back to Brigham. Plenty of time on the shot clock, skipped over. Mortson trying to float one up, just strong, and a loose ball foul here. Going to go on Ridgeline. As this foul being called here on Cox. That'll be the second personal, excuse me, the first, yeah. Well, they called on Blotter, his second. Numbers are hard, my apologies. Grantsville to throw in. Shot clock reset here to 35. And a foul called here is again, you see Mulford being super aggressive with his quickness. And the blocking foul there called on Workman, his second. Sixth team foul on Ridgeline. It's a quick substitution here for the Riverhawks. Creighton Jenks. Will come on the floor here for Grady. Meanwhile, quick counter for Coach Austin will bring Bryson Roberts back on the floor as Cash Cooper will catch a late break here in the first half. Mulford again to inbound. Thrown in with Morrison.
Roberts. Hand off. Brigham has the open three. That was off the mark. Rebounded there by Luke Sorensen. Up the floor quickly here for Ridgeline. Jenks. Played it back here with Skinner. My apologies. I said Jenks came on the floor. It was Diego Vasquez that came on the floor that last whistle. Final 15 seconds here of the first half. Vasquez playing over with Cox. Extra pass to the corner. Jenks, the three. No. Backside board from Vasquez. Diego going up. Off the mark. Batted around. Corralled there by Grantsville. And the heave off the mark. And we'll head to the locker room. Halftime here at Grantsville. We're tied at 23 apiece. Ridgeline and Grantsville. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Presented by Heideman and Associates. Welcome back here to KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Dane Stewart coming to you live from Grantsville High School as the Riverhawks and the Cowboys one half in the books. We are tied up at 23 in what was a back and forth first half. Each team had opportunities with the lead. Your unofficial leaders at the break, Grady Workman had nine as Luke Sorensen had eight to help pace Ridgeline. Carson Cox, who scores there, now with four. Cam Blotter also with four to round out the scoring for the visitors. Meanwhile, for Grantsville, made four threes in the first quarter, just one in the second quarter as Gabe Morrison had eight, Mulford with seven. Cooper and Roberts three apiece as Ridgeline goes inside to Jagger. And Frankham with his first bucket tonight, one right at the rim. Pushing the lead here to four for the Riverhawks. Good start to this second half. That pass just a touch behind the intended target of Powell. And Ridgeline trying to run the floor. Mortson takes it away. Here's Mulford. Should mention Bunnerson had a pair in the first half as well. He's got it now. Sends it back to the corner. Roberts the three. And a timely made three there for Bryson Roberts, his second of the game. Brings it back to one. A little zone look here for Grantsville. Blotter looking to Cox, the lob for Sorensen. And that got jammed. It was a nice job there by Roberts, who had some interior defense. To help pressure it. Oh, the big rejection from Luke. He's having none of that in the paint. Workman inside, and the foul here going to be called on Roberts as that arm came down trying to defend the shot from Luke Sorensen inside. And Luke will head to the line here. Chance to get in double figures for Coach Kyle Day. Second personal on Roberts as Sorensen again missing the front end. One more here. And one for two as the second rattles in. Foul here on the Grantsville end. Apologies, little technical glitch there. Just had to get that sorted out. As the foul called here on Blotter, that's number three on Cam. Zach Skinner will come on the floor. As free throws here for Powell. And his first bucket of the night for Ethan coming from the line. That one off the mark, and the ball gathered by Grantsville. Good offensive board there by Roberts. Sent to the corner, Powell for three. Too strong as Sorensen, the hard closeout, able to secure it for Ridgeline. Here's Workman, sees Cox, Carson, driving, trying to hand off to Jagger. The contact there inside, the foul called here on Grantsville. 
As this one given to Moritzen, it'll be his second personal. Second team foul on Grantsville. Luke works back. Skinner seeing that paint open up and just went across the back of that rim. Boy, good drive. But left it straight away. Mulford, that three rimmed out. Jagger with the clear. Carson. Pull up here from just inside of 15. Workman able to track that loose ball down. Grady sensing the over pursuit there, finding Skinner. Baseline tried to outlet it. Mortson again with the quick hands defensively, able to pluck that out of the air. Here come the Cowboys. Gabe thought about the three. Sorensen there defensively. Now Grantsville will set up. Hand it off with Bunderson. Roberts. Hard screen there. Roberts able to keep it inside of 10 on the shot clock. This one out, let it turned over. Workman handing to Cox. Carson Cox now with six points. As we approach the midway point here of the third quarter. Bunderson with Mulford. Moritzen getting back with Mulford. Around the screen, Roberts driving down Cowboy Lane hard off the glass. Workman trying to get in with Sorensen, well defended there by Mulford on the perimeter is Ridgeline keeping it here outside, Grady. Working back with Skinner, Carson. Jagger getting it back to Workman. Contact there as Mulford, the arm came down across the wrist, picking up the personal, I think, well, it'll be the third team foul on Grantsville and on Mulford, it'll be his first. Free throws again here for Ridgeline is Grady Workman with a pair. Substitutions for both sides will come on. Creighton Jenks will check in for Ridgeline after this first attempt, which rattles out for Grady. Meanwhile, for Grantsville, Connor Sorensen back on the floor, Cash Cooper and Eli Mondragon all checking in here for Coach Nate Austin. Ridgeline as a team, 71% from the line coming into the contest. We've seen a lot of split trips for the visitors as Grady Workman does so here. Missed the first, makes the second, 10 for Grady. And a four point lead for Ridgeline. There's Cooper over with Eli. Skipping over Gabe. Sensing that lane open up, blocked away. Boy, Luke Sorensen, nice job not giving up on the play. Knew he was beat, tracked it, and rejects it as Cox and Vasquez going to come on the floor here for Ridgeline. Workman and Frankham both getting rests. Lobbed in for Moritzen. Here's Gabe. Luke Sorensen defending him. Roberts, Bryson, gives it to Gabe. Three on the way, yes, as the shot clock expired, Gabe Morton dials up the three and a timeout taken by Grantsville as the Cowboys continue to hang around. Welcome back. Boy, this Grantsville team, they just continue to hang around tonight. There have been opportunities for Ridgeline where they've created two possession leads and it's been key shots and key moments just like that for Grantsville that's allowed them to hang around. And how about the defensive effort by Coach Austin's group? As that ball kept in, boy, Grantsville thought that that crossed the line. I was pretty close to it. I didn't see it. I did have a moment where my vision was taken away. 
as a foul here being called on Grantsville, and it will go on Mondragon. It'll be the fourth team foul. And the first on Eli. But how about the defense? This is a Ridgeline team averaging 67 points coming into the contest. Well below that. This Grantsville defense has really made them work. And this Ridgeline here will inbound four team fouls on Grantsville. Just one on Ridgeline in this second half. As Skinner works back up top with Cox. Now Workman, Grady, seeing Skinner come across. Back to Grady, zone again here for the Cowboys. Good job staying home and taking away. How about the reach there of Ethan Powell? Got it in the corner, able to knock it away. Here is Ethan, other end offensively. Sends it out with Cooper. Oh, and again, this one lost. Boy, a couple uncharacteristic turnovers here of Grantsville. We talk about timely moments with big made shots, but boy, a couple of turnovers here on possessions where they could take the lead. And instead they give it right back. Workman pulling up from eight short. Good box out there by Eli. This quote unquote undersized Grantsville team has played much bigger than the height on their roster would seem to indicate they're capable of. It's been a gritty, valiant effort here for the Cowboys at home is Cooper playing back over with Mulford. Mulford just the seven has not scored here in the second half yet. Connor Sorensen working back here with Brigham. 90 seconds left and a foul here that is on the drive. Excuse me, they did call it on the shot. So it'll be two free throws here from Mulford as Workman picking up his third foul. So Grady has three, Cam Blotter with three for Ridgeline. And Mulford here stepping to the line to shoot a pair. As he ties it up. Jagger Frankham back on the floor here. For Ridgeline is Workman having to come off, picking up his third. Mulford trying to give the lead back here to the home Cowboys. And does. Two for two on the trip for Brigham Mulford. He's got nine. Here's Jenks, the lob for Sorensen, and Sorensen couldn't handle it, but got his own rebound and puts it back. I shouldn't say rebound, but he got the uh, second chance off the miscue. Mulford seizing the three, wouldn't go as it was short, and it will head back to Ridgeline. Here's Cox. Skinner. Back up top, worked over to Frankham. Cox, little penetration, sends out, extra pass to the corner. Jenks, that's a quick three and hits it. Creighton Jenks with the triple. His first bucket tonight. Mulford sending out. Three for Powell, would it go? Luke with the rebound. And Coach Day saying, hold it. As the shot clock turned off here for these final 30 seconds, Ridgeline can have the last look. This has been right around the largest lead for both teams, it's been at four. I think there was one six point lead in the first half, but it's really been a battle right in this range. Final 10 seconds of the third has Zach Skinner working around the Frankham screen. Zach, dribble penetration, tough finish at the rim, and scores it, 38-32. And Grantsville, boy, missing the opportunity for the late closeout. It's a six-point game as we head to the fourth quarter. Ridgeline has the lead. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Welcome back to Grantsville High School. I want to thank Scott Moritz and, and the Grantsville administration here for having us. Always love coming out to Grantsville High School. I made my first trip out here last year. And uh, man, the community out here, the support, the environment, and the play. Look, I mean, a lot of people, well, I don't know a lot of people, but I was talking with some people in the building tonight. They're like, I don't know if this is a game. We thought it would be. It's why we make the trip out here. I love what Coach Austin has built. 
here at Grantsville High School. Such a great job. This program that uh, was back to top of the region, won the region championship in 2021. And they've got their eyes set on another run, hopefully to a region title for the Cowboys and to state is very formidable team in 3A. But they're thinking about tonight, a six point difference to start this fourth quarter. Shot clock inside of 10, down to five. There's a little floater here off the front of the rim and Cox with the rebound there for Ridgeline. Nice job by that Riverhawk defense. Pushing up the floor, here's Cox. Carson driving, works out. Skinner for three, no. And that one secured by Mulford. As Grantsville coming up the floor here quickly. Moritzson able to regather that. Here's Connor Sorensen trying to get it over to Cooper and a foul here gonna be called on Ridgeline. I was waiting to see where that foul was gonna go. They call it on Blotter, and that'll be number four on Cam. So decision time here for Coach Day, and the decision is go to the bench. Luke Sorensen gonna come on the floor here. And Blotter gonna have to come off. Grantsville here still with the possession. Seven minutes to go in regulation. Mulford giving to Bunderson. Gabe from the corner. Mm, that three wouldn't go. Loose ball gathered by Skinner. Nice look there for Moritzson. They hit a couple more threes in that third. The only field goals they had from the floor were threes for Grantsville as Workman trying to seize the opportunity and could not. Mulford, entry here for Powell in the block. Ethan trying to work against Frankham. Sees the cutter Moritzson. Had terminated his dribble, has to get rid of it and does. Boy, tough look. Somehow able to score it. Jagger does a great job of staying vertical on the play. But how about the sheer stick tutiveness by Ethan Powell, his first field goal. Cuts it back to a four point difference. Still in that zone. Jagger in the corner. Cox does a good job of sealing, but a nice reach there defensively for Grantsville to knock it away, and it will be Ridgeline on the baseline. Here's Cox. Boy, that pass a little tall for Skinner, and Ridgeline loses it. Kyle Day wants the timeout. Timeout, Riverhawks. It'll be Grantsville basketball when we come back. You're watching KSL Sports only on the Rewind Network. Five forty-seven to go here in regulation. Thirty-eight, thirty-four. Four team fouls for Grantsville. Three for Ridgeline. Both teams can be quite aggressive. When you look at fouls, Cam Blotter with the four, Grady Workman with three, each for Ridgeline. Unofficially, no one with Grant, on Grantsville with more than two. Those fouls much more spread out for the Cowboys amongst the lineup. And it'll be Grantsville basketball. Talk about they've made some timely shots, always been able to kind of seize the moment. See if they can do so here. Mulford. Trying to drive, baseline pass to Moritzson. Gabe got tripped up, there's the whistle. And I think this is gonna be on Luke Sorensen. If so, I think that's his first. Yes, it is. Number one on Luke. 14 foul on Ridgeline. Fresh shot clock. Mulford couldn't get it to crawl over the front of the rim. Trying to get that shot up quickly. There's not quite enough on it. And now the Riverhawks. Back on it. Still in that, well I shouldn't say still in that zone. They've mixed it up quite nicely as Cox 
That three wouldn't go, and a board gathered by Powell. Here's Ethan. A little jump stop works out. They lost Bunderson. Blake Bunderson hitting the three. Another timely bucket for Grantsville. We're back to one. Ooh, nearly taken away. Bunderson there had the, or excuse me, Roberts had the quick little poke away there. Here's Workman. Inside Jagger, yes, Frankum. A quiet offensive night for Jagger, just four points, but two big ones right there to push the lead back to three. Good ball movement to get a nice look inside. Mulford got a look, tapped out. Jagger able to get it there first for Ridgeline. Frankum end to end, yes, off the backboard. Back to back buckets for the Utah top 50 player. A nice surge here for the Riverhawks. Five point difference. Here's Powell. Powell trying to back Jagger down. Goes left hand, too strong. And Cox looking up the floor into Luke Sorensen. Ooh, nearly an and one opportunity as you saw Powell trying to get back, but the contact there will send Luke Sorensen back to the line. As substitutions for both sides will come in. Cam Blotter going to come back on the floor. Again, he's got his four personal fouls. But it's two free throws here for Luke Sorensen. The first. Ah, there you go. First free throw there, good for Luke. Those substitutions coming on the floor, one more here. Ooh, again, 50% at the line, splitting the trip one more time. I think that's three times for Sorensen where he's gone one for two. Here's Morrison, back out with Brigham Mulford trying to drive through the teeth of that defense, finding Bunderson. Off the back of the rim and Cox with the board. Open look there for Blake. He hit one just a minute or two ago. That one was just off the mark and an easy rebound for Ridgeline as everyone was still kind of outside there for Grantsville. Inside, Luke Sorensen, count it. And a chance to head to the line for the three-point play. This foul on Mondragon, his second. Largest lead of the game for Ridgeline. And we've got a whistle here as a loose ball foul called on Cox. Second on Carson. Three to go. Eight point difference. Cooper. Giving that with Bunderson. Boy, good drive. Count it. And the foul. Blake Bunderson will head to the line. And that foul was on Cam Blotter. And Cam has fouled out. Leaves the game unofficially four points for Cam Blotter. Boy, got in the foul trouble early. I think it really disrupted his ability to get in a rhythm tonight. Averages five points a game, four rebounds a game, but Cam's night complete here with 2.44 to go. And they will be without the 5'10 junior guard. At the line. Good.
Bunderson with eight, six of them coming here in the fourth. Five point difference. Workman, that was deflected, able to keep it, knocked away by Morrison. Here come the Cowboys. Mulford working from the screen, gives it to Bunderson. Bunderson attacking, blocked away. And Ridgeline lost it. Cox couldn't keep it. Mulford with it. Here's Morrison. Over to Bunderson. Blake driving. Oh, good find to Eli, but too strong on the shot. Boy, too, too high. Too high on that shot from Eli. Inside of two to go here in the fourth. And the blocking foul here going to be called at half court on Mulford. A second on Brigham. Boy, that's one of those that haunts you. You get that ball in the paint. I know you you're rushed to get that shot away, but that drops. You're back to one possession. Instead, it's two, and now free throws coming up here for Zach Skinner. As it's one and one. Front end rattled in. Lead push to six. One more here for Zach. Trying to push it to three possession. Nope, but an offensive board from Luke Sorensen and a foul called here. Boy, what a big rebound there for Ridgeline. And Luke Sorensen gonna head back to the line as this one called on Moritz and his third, the eighth, or excuse me, it might, be, it might be the ninth team foul on Grantsville. It's eighth. My apologies. Eighth team foul. One and one again here. Front end for Sorensen. Off the mark. Rebound is to Grantsville. Boy, and Coach Day just had a bit of a sigh. He knows they've left several at the line tonight. Sent out. Cooper. Ooh, what a go. Boy, a good look for Cash. He hit a three back in the first. That one felt like it was going to go just off the mark. And a timeout now taken by Ridgeline. Timeout, Riverhawks with a six-point lead. We'll be back. You're watching the Rewind Sports Network on kslsports.com. What a ball game tonight. Two teams, we're talking about eight and two Ridgeline, 10 and two Grantsville, great test for the Cowboys. They've not shied away from playing your know, higher classification teams. And you can say the same thing about Ridgeline. Went to Springville, played Woods Cross, Bingham, Fremont. Two rosters that have been well tested here in their non-region schedules. And Ridgeline has just been able to make a few more plays here in this second half. But there's Gabe Morrison with the steal. And that one might have been deflected by Workman. Boy, another opportunity missed or not converted inside and an offensive foul called on Frankham. Ridgeline was frustrated with the call. Grantsville celebrates it. This game not done yet. 65 seconds left. Grantsville basketball. But they don't have a lot of more offensive possessions that they can afford to leave unconverted. Here's Eli, gives it to Mulford, the three. That will help. Mulford with the triple, pressure here from Grantsville. Shot clock down to 15. Workman driving. Back out with Cox. Shot clock down to 10. Coach Austin cheering on the D. The gym cheering on the D. Carson for three. No. Frankham had it and a whistle here. And it's going to be a loose ball foul called on Grantsville. And it'll be one and one here for Jagger. And I think that's one where Grantsville probably petitioning. He comes over the top of the player. And I think the player, I couldn't tell who it was, almost backing into Jagger, trying to get that rebound. 
And that's a tough call for an official. I think probably the right one there may not be popular in the building, but it's going to be one and one here for Jagger. Third personal on Eli. Big one and one, the last one and one of the game here for Ridgeline. Front end for Jagger Frankham. Makes a big free throw. One more. We'll take a timeout first. Timeout Ridgeline. One more for Jagger when we come back. Jagger Frankham, the junior. Ice in the veins on that first free throw. One more here for the first year starter here for Coach Day. Was in our Utah top 50. Young man has great size, good touch. Not afraid to bring the physicality. He's got one more. And goes two for two. According to stats reported, that was the aspect of Jagger's game that I felt like maybe wasn't where I would have thought it'd be. His free throw percentage felt low coming into it, but he makes two big free throws there to push it to a five point lead. And Grantsville now scurrying, trying to get a look. Moritz in the drive off the window, yes. And an immediate timeout taken there by Coach Austin. Clock not stopping after a made bucket. Coach Austin taking the full and we'll take it with him. Three point game, the finish when we come back. 48-45, Ridgeline basketball. Nine team fouls on Grantsville. Any foul here and it's double bonus for the Riverhawks. Obviously go for a steal, but you really don't have time to play defense. So this is gonna be a Try to steal the inbound or foul immediately. Indications seem to be one timeout for each side remaining. That's what the scoreboard says, it's what the table indicated. But for Ridgeline, this is about getting the basketball in and keeping the possession. Try and try and they find Sorensen and he is fouled. We'll head down Luke Sorensen. As boy, they said two seconds came off the clock there. So two free throws here for Luke. That was getting awfully close to a five second count. But Ridgeline able to handle it. And Sorensen back to the line. Again, been hovering right around 50% today. Low for what his average was coming in. Coach Austin imploring his student section to try to make some noise. And Sorensen misses the first. And Coach Austin didn't know if he was going to take the timeout. He's not yet. Luke Sorensen to make it a two possession game. Big free throw for Luke. It is two possession. Final seconds. Brigham gets a look, hits it. But it won't be enough. Coach Austin tried to call a timeout. The clock had expired. 49-48. Grantsville comes up one point shy at home as they fall to Ridgeline. Boy, what a contest. Mulford finishes unofficially with 15. They certainly made it close. Coach Austin continuing to say, look, there was time on the clock. The question is whether the officials saw time on the clock. Neither team is left. Both are allowing officials space here to make the final call. Officials, if I recall correctly, trained to see the basket come through, the ball come through, and then look at the clock. I did not see time left. The officials do. We're putting time on the clock here. There was one timeout left for Grantsville. So 
Coach Austin, immediately that bucket's made. He's calling for the timeout. The question was whether there was time on the clock. They've put 0.3 seconds on the clock here. It requires three tenths of a second for a shot. So really, you or I think it's four tenths of a second. So this essentially has to be a tip off the inbound to try to get a game winner. This is pretty, look, I'm not a coach. This is pretty simple. You heave it to the front court, not out of bounds. Just let someone touch it. The ball game's over. We'll see what Coach Day likes to do. I'll tell you this. Coach Day was very patient. Didn't have a lot of contest. I think he recognizes, look, we can handle this. It's not a big deal. Some of the fans are a little frustrated with it. I don't think this is going to change the outcome. We'll see, though. I mean, what special play does Grantsville have? to try to get possession and a shot with three tenths of a second left. You can even throw it off a Grantsville player guarding the basketball. I mean, there's just not enough time to really do anything with it. All right, three tenths of a second left. No timeouts for Grantsville. Cox unguarded on the inbound. The heave looking for a call and touched it. But was he out of bounds before the clock expired? I think they're going to say this one's done. Yep, game over. So here's the thing. That was actually very, very close. And tip of the cap to Grady Workman. We talked about his blue collar nature, he has to run that ball down because you don't, Grantsville gets it under their own basket with a tip in. Grady Workman, the play to save the game with three tenths of a second left, tip of the cap. Gritty effort from both sides, but Ridgeline does enough to come out with a 49-48 win over Grantsville. My goodness, what a game. Our play of the game, I'm gonna go with Luke Soren. Actually, I'm gonna go with Grady Workman. Sorensen had 14, that's a nice night. Grady had 10. The play to save it with the 10. We'll give it to Grady Workman, our player of the game. Good night for Brigham Mulford, but for Grantsville, they come up just shy. Ridgeline improves to 11 and 2. 49 48, Ridgeline defeats Grantsville. For Vince Francis, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us here for KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week, only on the Rewind Sports Network. Good night, everybody.